Today we are going to discuss about psoriasis. Uh, this is a condition which is happening as a result of an immunological uh, reaction affecting the germinative layer or the basement layer of the epidermis. So in our normal uh, cycles of the skin proliferation of the germinative cells of the epidermis it takes about 30 days to a keratinocyte to come from the germinative layer to the uh, surface but in psoriasis what happens is this process is exaggerated due to an immunological reaction and a cell which is produced by the germinative layer reaches the surface of the skin within about three to four days. This results in a uh, well demarcated pink scaly patches all over the uh, skin and that condition is called psoriasis. The triggering etiological factor of this immunological reaction is still unknown but there are so many genetic involvements and uh, there are some uh, uh, environmental factors as well. Basically, what happens is in the presence of interleukin 12, interleukin 23 and TNF alpha due to an unknown triggering factor, the T helper 17 cells, T helper 17 cells get stimulated and the T helper 17 cells produce interleukin 17A, interleukin 17F, and interleukin 22. Interleukin 22. And uh, these immunological mediators, they stimulate the basement membrane of the epidermis and the maturation process is exaggerated and the keratinocytes produced by the germinative layer reaches the skin surface within about two to three three to four days time so it is normally 30 days but in psoriasis uh, it happens within about three to four days that is why you get the scaly patches uh, in the skin uh, there are nine genetical foci have been identified responsible for psoriasis but the main foci is HLA-CW6 in chromosome 6 and uh, vitamin D deficiency contributes a major role and uh, skin damage with these genetical uh, involvements if somebody get a skin jam damage a psoriasis can be triggered off that is called the Cobner's phenomena and uh, streptococcal infection especially uh, can trigger off uh, gut psoriasis I will explain later and stressful situations some medications also can uh, uh, stimulate trigger off the uh, psori psoriasis process medications also can uh, trigger off especially things like lithium. Psoriasis can trigger off at any age of the life, but usually there are two peaks, 30 to 39 and 50 to 69. These two peaks are uh, more common presentations of psoriatic condition, but it can present at any age. And uh, we are going to classify the uh, psoriasis uh, variants and uh, usually plaque psoriasis is the commonest uh, psoriasis uh, that we can see in in the population and they are symmetrical distributed and scaly plaques and uh, uh, these scaly plaques uh, can be uh, bled there could be small bleeding on top of the scales when the scales are removed and uh, usually scalp, extensor surfaces, knees, elbows, skin and even the gluteal cleft uh, trunk could be involved. And uh, 
plaque psoriasis is more common in the winter period. This is plaque psoriasis. You can see the well demarcated margins and scaly salmon pink colored patches. The next form is gutte psoriasis. The word gutte, gutte psoriasis, uh, came into uh, the picture as it shows as if you fell into a gutter or a ditch and the splash of water spreads all over the body in a splash. That is the presentation situation of the skin lesions uh, in gutte psoriasis. Usually the trunk is affected and the lesions are less than one centimeter uh, in size and distributed all over the body. It is not the usual plaques that you can uh, see, but they are very smaller and distributed in a splash of water pattern all over the body. That is why it is called gutte psoriasis. This is a picture of a gutte psoriasis. You can see the water flash uh, pattern of distribution of the lesion. Pustular psoriasis. Pustular psoriasis is usually uh, inflammation and uh, involved with fever and hypocalcemia with uh, blisters uh, filled with exudate, especially in the palms and soles and uh, uh, skin areas which are affected. And this happens suddenly, usually due to withdrawal of uh, corticosteroids and in pregnancy. And this could be life threatening. And uh, this is a dangerous variety of psoriasis that we have to uh, consider as a medical emergency. This is pustular psoriasis. You can see the uh, pustules in the lesions. And the other variety is erythroderma. Erythroderma uh, mode of psoriasis is red uh, skin all over the body and that is also uh, due to various uh, inflammatory conditions with psoriasis and it's also a life-threatening uh, situation. This is erythroderma. Dehydration is a high risk of this condition and this is a medical emergency. And with psoriatic patients, you can see nail pitting, pitting of the nail. So if, if this is the nail bed, you can see pitting of the nail. That means some pitch in the nail. Some people categorize this as a pitting psoriasis and uh, the nail bed is heaving as well. Some people, uh, this can present itself with pitting nails or it can present with uh, other varieties of uh, psoriasis in combination. So I would not consider it as a separate category, but it could be a presentation of psoriasis. This is a pitting nail in psoriasis. The prevalence of psoriasis in the society is about 2%. Uh, these are the main uh, variants of psoriasis. Uh, that presents, but uh, there is another condition called psoriatic arthritis. I will discuss that in a separate lecture. It's a huge uh, subject. I have to discuss it separately. And let's discuss about the management of psoriasis now. The management process is a complicated process and it depends upon uh, the limited disease or whether it is a severe disease. Uh, in severe diseases, you, you will have to select uh, more uh, intensive treatment methods. But usually, a medical education and emollient, phototherapy, cort uh, corticosteroids local or adequate vitamin D, or we have to optimize the vitamin D levels of the patient. We can use retinoids, we can use calcitriol, uh, we can use disease modifying anti rheumatological medications like methotrexate and uh, cyclosporine and uh, biological agents. <laughs>